I am absolutely loving this album so far. Wildflower, I have heard this song. I had a lot of mixed feelings on like what I thought the song was actually about. The music video, um, the explanation was perfect. But I just, I don't know, like I'm still kind of conflicted lyrically what I feel like this song is really trying to say to us. I absolutely loved it. I feel like Dulcet had, or not Dulcet, I'm sorry, but I feel like um, Bookish Theories. Bookish Theories did an explanation video on it. I think I slightly differed from her, from what her perception of this song was about and from what mine was. Um, I think she crushed it with Still Life, but I just feel like Wildflower, I feel like it was a little bit different. So... I don't know. I'm going to read back through these lyrics too and see what I think uh, the song's really about as well. I love this album though. Wildflower is beautiful and everybody has told me uh, number two is a beautiful song as well too. So I really can't wait to hear this one. But let's get into it right now. <sighs> Wildflower is so freaking good. This music video is beautiful too. I will say this, like, man, just hearing this song just by itself without necessarily having, like, other visual stimulants that distract you from stuff, like the music video, that drum, that beat that just dropped right there was beautiful. Like, go back and listen to this. Right there, just came right back in, beautiful. Ooh, this highs. I love her voice. Man. God, it's so good. I love her voice. Oh my god. His voice right here, like the flow in his styling and stuff, is different from what I've heard a lot in the other parts of the album as well, too. Like, for instance, um, Closer, or Closer, Change Part 2, there's a lot of different places where his voice just sounded completely different, almost like it wasn't even RM if you didn't really know that it was RM, and like here, his voice sounds like more what I'm used to hearing from him, I guess, I don't know, please let me know if it's just me thinking that in the comments as well too, because it might just be me, and I might be completely off on this, but I just feel like it sounds a little bit different. I 
love that line. It's climbing. It's beautiful. I love that in the background. Love the layering here is so good. God. Honestly, look, they could have ended this album on this song. Such a beautiful song. I don't know about number two. I have not heard it yet. But lyrically with this one, oh, God. There's so many good lines in this song. It's so good. Like whenever you're, it's just when your own heart consumes you, when your own dreams devour you. Ha. Ah. Hmm. And it's visually really appealing as well, too. Like, you can just think of these things. Like, especially once you know what the uh, flower work is. I think this song, to me, is like a masterpiece. Wildflower is a masterpiece. I love that song. Boom. All right, so we're going to get into track 10. This is the final song, and uh, I'm excited to hear this one. <laughs> Was not expecting that. I like that climbing guitar. These lyrics are so good. right there are dear don't look back anymore after all those waves have gone by even if those countless what ifs torment you now you'll be protecting yourself <sighs> i've said this numerous times but rm is probably one of my favorite lyricists favorite poets whatever you want to call him just the way that he puts words together are amazing he reads a lot people so if you want to be a good lyricist if you want to be a good poet any of those things read a lot 
because the way that people put words together, you can grab a little from here, grab a little from here, and make your own style. And that's exactly what RM's done, and I absolutely love this. It's beautiful. <laughs> Oh man, start to finish, that was like a journey through RM's brain and I absolutely love that. Like I think that every one of those songs was written kind of in that time, like however that song makes you feel, I feel like was how RM was feeling when he was writing it. That was beautiful and that's really hard for people to do. I think it's special like, I feel like RM and J-Hope and Suga with their solo albums have been able to completely just write their feelings down on paper and really capture the emotion of the time that they were writing it and putting it down on an album. And I absolutely love that about them. And I'm not saying that they don't do this with BTS as well too. I just feel like with their solo work, I feel like it's a better glimpse into them personally. Honestly, another golden album. RM, you are an amazing freaking songwriter and I absolutely loved going through this journey. Can't wait to see his live performance in Seoul that he did recently. And uh, I will be reacting to that soon as well too. Guys, thank y'all so much for watching this with me. If y'all are watching it all on Patreon, for real, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I am this close to being a full-time content creator, and it's all thanks to you. And I, I cannot say how happy I am about that. It's like, it's insane. This whole year, I'm going to be putting my entire self into being a content creator and putting out the best possible stuff for everybody, sharing my life with you all, spreading some positivity, and uh, yeah, just being, I don't know, me. I don't really know. But uh, either way, guys, thank y'all so much for spending some time with me today. If y'all need anything at all, know that you guys can message me on any of my socials. They're all at John Reeves Live. Spread some positivity out there. Be kind to one another, and I will catch you next time. Freaking toodles!